Welcome again to Rough Diamond Recipes. Today's recipe is leek, mushroom and spinach lasagna. As normal, the full list of ingredients can be found in the description box below. When I finish narrating this video, I'm actually going to my grandson's first birthday party. The trouble with being a grandparent is your grandkids trick you. You open the door, they give you a beaming smile and melt your heart. You pick them up and <laughs> snot all down the front of your Armani suit. To be fair, she has got a point. Every time I put a suit on, I look like I've stolen it. Anyway, on with the cooking. The first thing you do for this recipe is melt the butter in a heavy base pan, add the garlic and fry off for a minute or two. Then it's time to add the leeks and mushrooms to the pan and thoroughly mix it. And then when the mushrooms and leeks are softened, salt and pepper and remove from the pan and reserve. Then it's onto the spinach. And to prepare said spinach, simply in the frying pan, add the spinach, a splash of water, salt and pepper to taste, put the lid on and allow it to wilt down for a minute. When the minute's up, put the rest of the spinach in and do the same thing again. Then it's time to remove from the heat. I forgot to say, put the grating of nutmeg in when you put the salt and pepper in. It really does help to taste the spinach. Then when the spinach is all wilted, place in a calendar or sieve and allow it to drain well. Then it's on to making the white sauce. To make the white sauce, melt the butter in a pan, add the flour and cook out for a minute or two. When this is done, add the milk splash at a time, continually mix in until the consistency you want is achieved. Then it's salt and pepper to taste, and there you have it, white sauce finished. Then it's time to assemble a mixture. And to do this, in a suitably sized oven food dish, lay a layer of leeks and mushrooms, followed by a layer of pasta sheets, followed by a layer of white sauce, and top that up with spinach. And then repeat. And this is where we had a bit of a hiccup. Admittedly, the problem isn't exactly gigantic given the state of the planet at the moment, but if you're doing a cooking video, it's pretty important. I'll let the brains of the outfit, i.e. my wife, explain in her own words. This dish isn't big enough. So it's not. I'm not going to get another layer on. So we sat down and had an in-depth discussion of what best to do. And my wife came up with the innovative, if not genius, idea that solved our problem. She decided just simply to ignore it and pile the stuff up. So the moral of the story is, when I say use a suitably sized oven proof dish, that's exactly what I mean. Anyway, place the layers in the dish the best you can, making the last layer a layer of white sauce. Then simply grate the cheese over the top of the whole dish. And when the cheese has been placed on top, it's off to 190 degrees C oven for 45 minutes. And then when the 45 minutes are up and the lasagna is piping hot, it's time to serve. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this recipe and give it a go sometime. Feel free to subscribe, share and like and hopefully we'll see you soon in the next one. Bye for now.